Imagine this, you created a 3D donut and you want to share your model with your friends and your family. But they have no 3D software available, so they can't see what you created. You could share a render result, but you actually want to showcase the entire 3D model. In this video, you will learn the basics of how to present your 3D model in the web. To implement this, we will use 3DS, React 3D Fiber, React 3D Ray and GLTF JSX. If you created your own 3D model, then feel free to use that, but for demo purposes I'll be using a model from the web. I'm using Polyhaven for this, which is a website for free high quality assets like textures and 3D models. Let's select the Kiwi and download it by changing the download type to GLTF and click download. Once you unzip the file, it will contain the following files which are all required. Create a public folder in the root of your project and add the unzipped files there. In my case, I put them inside the Kiwi folder. And by the way, I'm using the starting code that's available on my GitHub, which is shared in the description. This code already contains 3.js and React 3 Fiber, but we still need to install React 3 Dre and GLTF JSX. I'm installing GLTF JSX globally since it's only being used to generate JSX files and this way I can use the tool in other projects as well. I will shortly describe how GLTF JSX works, but if you want to get to know all of its possibilities then I recommend you to visit their GitHub. They also have a website where you can just drag and drop your GLTF, but it doesn't support TypeScript yet, so I'm gonna be using the npm package which we just installed. Run the following command with a pod to your GLTF file and the T flag to let the tool know that we are using TypeScript and set the root folder to public, which is where the generated GSX file will start looking for the GLTF file. As you can see, we now have a generated Kiwi component including the types. It will automatically look for the right path because we set the root to public. The component returns a group containing all the meshes of the GLTF file, which is only one in this case. The geometries and materials are also automatically attached. By default it preloads the GLTF, which reduces the load time when the model is actually needed. Let's rename the file and the component and move it to the source folder. This will trigger a compile error saying that the reference cannot be null. This compile error only happens in our source folder because of our TypeScript configuration. We could solve this error if we want, but in our case we don't need this reference at all, so let's remove it. The next thing we have to do is include the Kiwi to our project. Let's change our view and include the browser so you can see what happened. The Kiwi is way too small, so let's increase the scale to 30. Now that worked, so let's start using React 3 Dre to improve the presentation a bit. If you go to their GitHub, you will see a list of useful helpers and abstractions, which make it a lot easier to use React 3 Fiber. There are many ways to use Dre for presenting your 3D object, but for now let's use the float and the context shadows component to make the Kiwi slightly float around. Each item has its individual documentation, which often includes examples like this floating astronaut and this customizable shoe. Let's add the float component around our Kiwi to make it float. Add the context shadows component separately to automatically generate shadows for all objects that are positioned above the component. I chose those parameters, but feel free to tweak the values, which will also help you to understand the parameters better. Now that you know how to import and present a model, I recommend you to try it out a bit more with different models. In my case, I added some more fruits to the scene and changed the background color. I would be happy to see your results, so if you have created something that you'd like to share, then please feel free to reach out to me. And that's all for now, so if you have any specific trade components that you'd like to hear more about, then please let me know and I'll create a video about it. Please like the video if you did and subscribe for more related content. Ciao!